Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing the DYS Aria Slim ESCs. Now this is a 3D6 S LiPo ESC, rated up to 40 amps. Filtration somewhat minimal. Current sensing we do have telemetry, RGB LED, and it's using really nice big fat MOSFETs as you can see there. That's really nice to see here. So that's saying that it can possibly handle success just fine. And for wires, are using silicone wires. However, the wires for the power of the ESC are quite small. They're actually 18 gauge here for some reason. And uh, usually we get like 16 gauge, something like this here. Uh, however, here it's just a little bit smaller. And uh, as you can tell here, but this ESC was using little small baby FETs and this one's using a big monster FET. So it's, hopefully this is gonna perform really good. Now, this is rated up to 40 amps as it stated and well, theoretically stated, and uh, it has a 50 amp burst, but it's not stating for how long. So who knows for how long, but overall, all, what I can tell you is they have fit quite a lot on this board and these pads are good enough they're better than the uh, racer start version because i remember soldering those was absolute pain in the ass so these pads they uh they're, they're a lot better obviously uh the copper looks really great inside as you can tell right there and let's get its overall dimensions because i think that's really important for most people especially if you're going for a slim esc here so width is 11.57 millimeters length is 35.4 millimeters and height from the highest points is 5.5 millimeters so that's all good and done. So they are pretty small ESCs, basically. This is kind of like the normal average standard size ESCs, you can tell. They've just gotten a little bit longer and a lot thinner, maybe half the size. Let's see, maybe the reduction is around, what, 25% here, possibly. Yeah, around 25% or so. So if you could see that right there. So hopefully these are gonna perform. So we're gonna go ahead and do some noise testing on these, see how well they compare to other ESCs and uh, come back to testing results. Oh yeah, and one more thing, they come with two heat shrinks. So yeah, that's really nice. None of them are on just yet. So you can put that on later on, which is a nice little addition here. All right, so enough talking, let's jump to the testing. All right guys, so the results are in and let's get started. So on the left side, we have the throttle noise level test. We have 10% throttle, uh, 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. And on the right side, we have the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers. These are exactly the same and these are exactly the same. Now the, the throttle noise level test gives us an idea of uh, what the noise is like on each throttle level and it can kind of give us a clear representation if you are susceptible to a possible mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise here. And on the right, we have just a simulated aggressive flight maneuver just to see the rundown of the noise uh, when you're, you know, you're in your flight maneuvers and stuff. All right, so let's get started. Now, before getting started again, guys, if I do help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase, please use the links down below. You don't even have to use purchase, the same thing. And if you could join my Patreon, that would really, really support the channel. I'm trying to look for an assistant so I could push out more content like this and do six S E S C shootouts. I'll be able to push out all the contents your heart desires and um, any support can go an absolute long way and it can help take this channel next level. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so how did this one do? Well, this one is a little bit, you know, we can't really judge it like other ESCs because the form factor, the whole idea here is for slim ESCs. Now there's also a couple other slim ESCs that have been released. I've only tested one of them, which was from Racer Star. But again, it's not really a fair comparison between it and the Racer Star. Why? Because this one's using better MOSFETs than the Racer Star. However, the Racer Star comes with a built-in capacitor. So if we take a look up here, this is the Racer Star Slim with, I think, yeah, the PGA30. It comes with the, the capacitor, low ESR capacitor installed in it. So we can't really compare it here because if we put a low ESR capacitor on the DYSR, it is actually better than the Racer Star. Uh, it'll have the same exact noise profile here. 
But again, the FETs are all going to be a lot better uh, to handle more current and just uh, more power delivery uh, than the, the Racer Star. But still, the Racer Star is still a very good choice here. Now, let's start comparing it to some other budget ESCs. I think that would be kind of good because I didn't test those with a low ESR capacitor. So we kind of get an idea where this falls in. With the amount of filtration on this ESC, though, this is a really good result for the amount of filtration on the ESC. However, it is recommended to at least put like a thousand microfarad just on your main battery power, a low ESR capacitor, just a main low ESR capacitor. I'll have some link down below if you want some low ESR capacitors. So let's bring in a budget one. Hmm. Here's a Spedex IS30 ESC. It's really budget $10 ESC, It's old, old, but it's a D-Shot 600 ESC. This is a really good testing result, actually. And you can kind of see the difference. You can still see what the motor is trying to do here with the DYS Aria Slim. Uh, this is the Spedex here. Um, but, you know, it's still, it's not as clean as I'd like it to be. But again, you know, you, on, you only have so much space on a Slim ESC. So I don't know where I would fit this in. And this kind of just comes back to you. All I can do is just show you uh, like testing results. And you can compare and figure out for yourself. But I can tell you the FETs on that ESC are really good. And for it to perform this good with the amount of filtration on board is, is also. A, a good sign which is really nice all right so let's go ahead and compare it to something else let's see here's a hack rc bundle this was like a really really cheap bundle it comes with the flight control and everything i forgot it's price like maybe like 40 bucks or something so here's its testing results this is the throttle noise level test of the hack rc and here's the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers as you can tell this is a really good result for 40 bucks the, the hack rc here and the DYS Slim isn't doing that bad, but again, this will need a low ESR capacitor, and it is recommended to add a low ESR capacitor, but for what it's doing in such a package with the amount of filtration is something really good here, and that's what I'm trying to say, trying to show you. All right, and just for just the last, uh, we can say, just the last comparison, we'll bring in the best best ESC which is not really a great comparison but just to get an idea of what's a really good result here uh, which was the Tico 32 ESC so if we bring that in right there and we bring this one in also as you can tell there's there's a huge difference obviously this is the best ESC but um it's it's still pretty good you can still see what the motor is trying to do here other than the you know the extra you know frequency noise right there the high fre higher frequency noise here that's just going kind of it's not all over all over the place and for another example, here's a 4-in-1 ESC, which didn't test really good at all. Just to get an idea of something that you really don't want to see, uh, which is this. If it looked like this, then that's just, um, it's, it's really bad. But like this, it's good because we can still see what the motor is trying to do here. So overall, it's, it's a really nice result for what it is, for the type of package that it comes in. Uh, because some people might need these little slim ESCs. I'm not saying they're bad. Um, I think they're doing great for such a small package, but again, the, I haven't tested much many slim ESCs, so I don't know how well uh, they're going to improve in later versions or other ones that are going to be released, but so far it's doing pretty good in my opinion. And I'm going to leave it at that guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, I have links to everything down below, you don't have to purchase the same thing, but if you use those, those support the channel quite dramatically and really help the channel a lot, and if you could use my Patreon, that'd be super awesome. And again, I'll see you in the next one, peace out.